Hello everyone, this is Mustafa and I'm actually stuck in, uh, in a situation that uh, I thought uh, it would be informative for you other guys uh, to learn about. Uh, let me uh, fill my computer right now. Uh, okay, this is <laughs> obviously my computer and uh, this is a fresh installation of FreeBSD here. Uh, FreeBSD uh, is a Unix based uh, operating system and I actually prefer FreeBSD uh, comparing to Linux uh, but uh, every time I install this fantastic OS uh, I have to go through uh, some troubleshooting um, because uh, FreeBSD can't uh, connect to Wi-Fi networking out of the box uh, actually I have found my unique way by several searches, some extensive searches uh, through internet and uh, I think it would be nice to let others uh, to see how I tackle this problem. Uh, this is, uh, as you can see, is, uh, is a fresh installation of uh, FreeBSD. And, uh, I have a root access here. This is root access here. Uh, I just installed FreeBSD. Nothing is installed but the uh, you know initial and uh, most uh, most basic tools available uh, in an OS like uh, FreeBSD. Uh, but actually, uh, WPA Passisphere is a basic tool available. This is a command here. Uh, I have also my mouse enabled. Uh, but no GUI, no graphical interface, no uh, desktop environment. And to communicate with Wi-Fi router or, uh, you know, networking tools, I only have access to terminal, just terminal, pure terminal. Uh, this method works like this. First and foremost, uh, you have uh, you have check if the FreeBSD actually sees uh, your uh, Wi-Fi module, your Wi-Fi, you know, chip in uh, inside the laptop. CCTL, uh, actually, CCTL uh, uh, space net dot VLAN dot devices, and uh, you can see it. Hopefully, uh, and thanks, you know, uh, since you know, purest thanks to God. And to Jesus, uh, it can see my Wi-Fi uh, module here, and its its name is shown here. Okay, so far we understood how to uh, get uh, the name of the network module, but uh, how I can uh, tell the FreeBSD what is the SSID of uh, the network, uh, the Wi-Fi router, and uh, what is the password? You have two uh, solutions here. First solution is editing WPA supplicant dot conf uh, manually uh, let's have a look inside uh, in this this uh, configuration file contains uh, ssids and pre-shared keys uh, i hide my uh, actual pre-shared key you have to put your pre-shared key pre-shared key oh, sorry uh, you have to put your actual pre-shared key here don't put zero zero zeros like me uh, just uh, put the actual uh, you know, a string here. And uh, I don't know what is this one here, so I'm going to, uh, you know, just delete this. Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, I have two SSID. Don't, uh, you know, uh, I don't get this wrong. This is, this Arch Linux here has nothing to do with this operating system. It's the name of the network router. It's the name that is being uh, broadcasting by the router and uh, it's my Wi-Fi name. Uh, another point here is the scan SSID uh, value uh, has been set uh, to be zero. Uh, if you have, uh, if you have using any kind of hidden Wi-Fi ne networks, uh, change this to one. Change this value to one. Change this particular zero here to one. If your SSID is not being pro broadcasted, it's hidden uh, but if it is not you don't have uh, you, you should not actually you must not uh, change this value to one uh, and uh, there is another point uh, this first um, um, configuration here uh, 
uh, has been set by FreeBSD itself. Uh, but the second one uh, is being set uh, with another tool that I'm going to show you just now. Another tool you can use is this. Uh, you should use uh, this command. This is a command and put your actual SSID name here and your actual password or pre-shared key here. Uh, and this tool will configure what you need automatically. And you know, it's very different um, with what you put manually. Uh, I mean, look at this hash here, this complicated hash uh, here, uh, in when you um, edit this file manually, uh, this compli complicated hash here uh, is produced somehow from these simple zero zero zeros. Uh, and another important point here is I commented this out, but you should not. I commented this out uh, just if you are going to put the actual pre-shared key and edit uh, WPA supplicant config file manually. You uh, of course you can't. Uh, calculate this hash uh, so you have to comment uh, this out uh, with a hashtag and this is v and it's complicated you have to <laughs> okay you have to comment this out and uncomment this one just uncomment this one uh, and put the actual amount here uh, after uh, setting your SSID and uh, pre-shared key, uh, you have to change rc.configuration file. Just uh, do it, you, you have to do it manually with V or, uh, you know, uh, any other uh, editor you enjoy. Uh, put this line of command in your shell and you will automatically see this uh, file. Uh, I'm, I just edited this, uh, but I'm going to do it again to show you. Uh, this, is, this is the contents of my RC file, uh, RC configure, configuration file. And uh, at the end of the file, at, uh, the, at the lowest lines, uh, you have to uh, put two lines containing uh, the name of your Wi-Fi module and uh, you know, put VLAN zero uh, equal to the VLANs underline whatever your uh, module name or your device name is and just uh, equal it to VLAN zero. And at the, at the end, you have to write this WPA space sync DHCP. Uh, if, if your device name is not IWM zero, don't worry, just change it. For example, in the previous documentation site, it's ATH0, ATH0 instead of IWM0. Uh, whatever whatever you, your device name is, have to be here before equal sign and after underline. Okay, so, so far uh, we had three steps uh, and this is the last one. You have to restart the computer or just restart the uh, Wi-Fi service. Service space net if space restart. And let's see what's happened. It communicates with Wi-Fi. I don't know how. And uh, okay, it's com it's communicated. And let's see if I can use ping. Google is banned in my home country, so I am going to use another famous site here. Ping space whatever house name and hopefully it's it's going to work for you thank you for watching my video uh, i'm going to make other videos on how uh, FreeBSD uh, could be used how to set up FreeBSD, and i hope it would be informative for my audience thank you